Hi Aquarius, I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing month of May. Okay, so the first card that came out for you, it's not for you. Um, I'm just going to basically ask the most important messages that you need to receive for the month of May. That we can basically just focus on the most important messages that you need to receive. Um, this is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. You've got the snake card and it's telling you life according to your divine essence. Live according to your divine essence. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so let's what you see with the new knowledge. Yeah, like I said, this is a general reading. Love to be a finance, health. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel, Tarot Dreams 88. I do have um, three other channels as well Dream Infinity 88 and Dream Infinity Brand. Aquarius, nothing is yet set in stone. If this is regarding a possible legal document that you are thinking and contemplating about, let's quickly see with your um, crystal card for the month. This crystal card will assist you to your higher power, wherever you might need this. This crystal, if you possibly can buy you one of these, calcite. This crystal will supply you calmness in all your chakras. I just want to quickly move this a bit closer. Let's do it like so. Okay. Now, let's quickly pull you. Oops. Okay. It wanted to fall down, so I'm leaving it down. Okay, let's quickly pull you a chakra card for the month of May, Aquarius. Yeah, and then in my free time, I basically design Lenormand and Oracle decks. The, the link will be in the description box below. Second chakra. I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best of food, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments and thoughts. Okay, so that your second chakra might play a big role for you in the month of May. And your Raphael, the angel answers card. Do more research. I'm going to read this for you. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. Now, Okay, I'll get back to this because, yeah, something is coming up, I feel, regarding that card. Okay, so let's quickly pull you some tarot Aquarius. Um, let's quickly see. What does Aquarius need to know? The most important messages for Aquarius. Okay, you've got the High Priestess. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. We will have a summary regarding the reading. When I've done, drawn all the cards for you. Because I do see a theme, possibly for the month of May. You've got the Seven of Swords. Most important messages for Aquarius. Okay, you've got the Eight of Wands. And then you've got the Death card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. 
your general energy for the month of May Aquarius is the two of Pentacles so let's quickly see what does Aquarius need to know okay so Aquarius regarding a certain matter um, and this might be regarding love career finance or even family it's telling you that that situation is possibly not for you um, and I do believe that you'll know best but when it comes to that situation that it's not for you with the seven of swords it's telling me that someone within your circle of friends family work or energy is not upfront and honest with you about something Aquarius because the seven of swords is the lying cheating stealing sneak card and I feel this card basically goes towards this is not for you so but regarding this possible person and it might be another air sign person or with air in their chart you are going to present it with a lot of messages um, mails communication regarding this matter and this matter um, but this is also the traveling card so this might mean that you need to travel or you're going to be possibly moving some Aquarian people out there regarding this matter with the seven of swords and the not for you it's possibly asking you to do more research regarding this matter normally with the snake god it is telling you that someone is shedding a skin um, and normally with a snake type of person you get um you get this type of sneakiness and with the high priestess i do believe that you possibly need to make use of your own intuition and gut feeling regarding this matter um if something is not right your gut feeling will tell you because if this is regarding a contractual matter or a legal matter or a document it's telling you that nothing is set in stone so this might be a person that's trying to oops to do you in possibly and i do feel aquarius it might be regarding a financial matter someone is trying to possibly do you in financially um with that nothing is set in stone you do have the calcite card that's telling you that this stone and this crystal will supply you with the necessary calmness you need yeah make use of your intuition i do feel that you are possibly waiting upon someone or something or a possible offering or opportunity coming in i do see you possibly going through a death and rebirth cycle ending of an old sort starting something new it might be in work it might be in a love relationship it might be in a family situation because i mean with the death god you do see that the sun is coming up coming up over here so i mean you do not stay completely you know within the dark times possibly that you're going through um regarding a certain situation and you'll know best the sun the sun will shine it will come right whatever you are possibly thinking and juggling off then you are going to be presented with a small financial offer this can be a love offer as well with the knight of pentacles but this offering or opportunity is going to come in very slow and I do feel regarding the Knight of Pentacles, this offering might give you a few different situations that you need to possibly choose from with the Seven of Cups. And regarding the Seven of Cups, you'll see that there is a dragon and there's a snake over there. 
and it's telling you that not all these options is the best options to make the choice and i do see you possibly in this energy of juggling this decisions opportunities that's going to come your way and you've got the second chakra and with the second chakra it's possibly in that basically entails and goes with do more research as well with the Archangel Raphael's card is to basically supply and provide yourself and your body with the best food, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments and thoughts. I'm feeling Aquarius that um, the month of May might be a bit difficult for you. Um, there might be some challenges coming your way for the month of May. If it's regarding a love relationship, I do feel that this person is possibly not upfront and honest with you. And this is not going to resonate for everyone, just a certain amount of people. It might be an air sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn person. And then I do see regarding either this can be a love offer coming in for you with the Knight of Pentacles or it can be a career or a financial offering opportunity coming your way. But like I said, this is coming in very slowly. And then Aquarius with the High Priestess basically, it's asking you to make use of your gut feeling, your intuition. If something feels off, it's asking you to listen to yourself regarding this possible matter and this matter with this person or this situation so let's quickly see if you are in a committed relationship what is the person that you are interested in would like to tell you Aquarius okay there's possibly a return of a past soulmate for some Aquarian people out there. For some Aquarian people, this person that's going to be returning might be this person um, that is not upfront and honest and then is telling you it's not for you. Because this person, the last time that you pos you possibly seen them, <clears throat> sorry are not the same person anymore as you are expecting them to be and that is now just for a certain amount of Aquarian people for um, the single possibly Aquarian people out there this might mean very positive for you if a past soulmate returns to you I do feel that the people that I'm speaking to now, if this past soulmate person returns, um, you might be very happy and you might feel fulfilled regarding this person that's possibly returned. It might be a, a, a earth sign person or with um, earth in their chart. And this person possibly will supply you with a stability that you need and the calmness with the calcite that you need but your Aquarius I hope I hope this can make sense for you um, and um, I hope that you will have an amazing month of May um, yeah and then please like and subscribe to my three channels I appreciate keep well bye